Welcome to the broadcast service for the United Parish of Kalinchi, Kilmood and Tulmukil. Our service is a service of Holy Communion for the third Sunday of Lent. If you have bread and wine at home, please feel free to partake after the prayer of consecration. Our opening hymn is Lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us. The Collect for Purity, let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us and write these your laws in our hearts. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to intercede for us in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may walk in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect of the Third Sunday of Lent, let us pray. Merciful Lord, grant to us, your people, grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh and the devil, 
and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only true God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 95. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout in triumph to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving and cry out to him joyfully in psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the peaks of the mountains are his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands moulded dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Today, if only you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as you did in the wilderness, when your forefathers tested me, put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation and said, It is a people who do err in their hearts, for they do not know my ways. Of whom I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I really do wish that these characters that caused Nehemiah so much trouble uh, weren't part of the story, but they are. Opposition to God's work is always inevitable, uh, and it sometimes can be quite ugly. But today, before we move on from chapter 4, 
we see that God cannot be overcome, that God fights for us. I'm going to read again verses 14 to the end of Nehemiah chapter 4. And I looked and arose and said to the nobles and to the officials and to the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome, and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. When our enemies heard that it was known to us and that God had frustrated their plan, we all returned to the wall, each to his work. From that day on, half of my servants worked on construction and half held the spears, shields, bows, and coats of mail. And the leaders stood behind the whole house of Judah, who were building on the wall. Those who carried burdens were loaded in such a way that each laboured on the work with one hand and held his weapon with the other. And each of the builders had his sword strapped at his side while he built. The man who sounded the trumpet was beside me. And I said to the nobles and to the officials and to the rest of the people, the work is great and widely spread and we are separated on the wall from one another. In the place where you hear the sound of the trumpet, rally to us there, our God will fight for us. So we labored at the work and half of them held the spears from the break of dawn until the stars came out. I also said to the people at that time, let every man and his servant pass the night within Jerusalem that they may be a guard for us by night and may labor by day. So neither I nor my brothers nor my servants nor the men of the guard who followed me, none of us took off our clothes. Each kept his weapon at his right hand. Nehemiah in these verses and indeed earlier in the chapter calls God the God of heaven. Verse 5 earlier, And I said, O God of heaven, the great and awesome God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments. And again in verse 20, he calls God the God of heaven, saying the God of heaven will make you prosper. Our God today, our God today in today's Ireland, our God today in today's church, is still the God of heaven's armies. He hears our prayers. Our God will uphold and fight for us. He will uphold and fight for truth, and he will fight for what is right. Our God is able. Our God is great. He is a powerful, miracle-working God. Verse 14 captures that where it says, Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. God is sovereign. God is in control. He is the sovereign, the great I am. He's holy. And you and I should fear God. On the inside of of this ring, that I wear, uh, there are engraved the words of Psalm 111, verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who practice it have a good understanding. My prayer for us this Lent and in these days is that God would engrave those words on my heart and on your heart and on the very DNA and the life of his church in these days. Our God is the God of heaven's armies. He will fight for us. He is a holy God, and he is a God to be feared and loved. Nehemiah understood that. And so Nehemiah engages in this work of building and rebuilding, doing it all for God and doing it all in a way and in a manner where he is fearing the Lord his God. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome, Nehemiah keeps telling us. And these are days in God's church and in our society for men and women of God to build for God, to rebuild for God, to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ, to work and to work hard at making existing ministries and existing churches stronger, for God's kingdom and in the work of God. 
and also planting new churches and starting new ministries to take forward and to make famous the name of God. So let's rise up and build. And let's remember and be reminded that our God will fight for us. I'm going to pray one of the colleagues from the prayer book as we finish today, which just uh, captures that so, so powerfully. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today I'd encourage you just to take a moment to do a little simple thing, if you would join with me. And it involves a, a, a little bit of a practical movement as well. If you'd put one hand, uh, as it were, in your heart and simply pray that God would be your protector and the protector of those you love and the protector of of your church and of the honour of his name in these days. So wherever you are, I'd encourage you to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the blood that you shed on the cross. I pray that you would be my protector and that, Lord, I would choose to live my life for your honour and for your glory, fearing you, loving you, proclaiming your holy name and making you famous. So Lord God, even send from heaven holy angels to guard and protect your church and the honour and glory of your name in these days, for Christ's sake. Amen.
wise and gracious God, you spread a table before us. Nourish your people with the word of life and the bread of heaven. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Father Almighty and ever-living God, at all times and in all places, it is right to give you thanks and praise. And so with all your people, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Father, the creator and sustainer of all things. You made us in your own image. Male and female, you created us. Even when we turned away from you, you never ceased to care for us. But in your love and mercy, you freed us from the slavery of sin, giving your only begotten Son to become man and suffer death on the cross to redeem us. He made there the one complete and all-sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he'd given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup. And when he'd given thanks to you, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, with this bread and this cup, we do as Christ your Son commanded. We remember his passion and death. We celebrate his resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Accept through him our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, grant by the power of the life-giving Spirit that we may be made one in your holy church and partakers of the body and blood of your Son, that he may dwell in us and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, preserve your body and soul to everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, preserve your body and soul to everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you, and be thankful. Behold the Lamb who bears our sins away, slain for us. And we remember 
The promise made that all who come in faith find forgiveness at the cross. So we share in this bread of life as we drink of his sacrifice as a sign of our bonds of peace around the table of the king. The body of our Savior Jesus Christ torn for you. Eat and remember the wounds that heal the death that brings us life paid the price to make us one. So we share in this bread of life and we drink of his sacrifice as a sign of our bonds of peace around the table of the king the blood that cleanses every stain of sin shed for you drink and remember he drained death's cup that all may enter in to receive the life of God So we share in this bread of life and we drink of his sacrifice as a sign of our bonds of peace around the table of the king And so with thankfulness and faith we rise to respond And to remember our call to follow in the steps of Christ As his body here on earth As we share in his suffering we proclaim Christ will come again and will join in the feast of heaven around the table of the king. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed our service Tune in next week as we continue to walk through this season of Lent. And remember, if you need anything at all, don't be afraid to contact myself, the rector, or your point of contact on the Select Vestry. Stay safe and God bless.